Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Payments window lets you select and pay individual vendors. To access the Payments window, select Tasks, Payments from the menu bar. You use this window to enter purchases from vendors that do not have an associated bill or to make payments to vendor bills entered into the Purchases Receive Inventory window. Selecting a vendor ID in the Payments window shows all unpaid bills from the vendor on the Apply to Invoices tab. For unpaid vendor bills, you can choose to pay the entire amount of the vendor bill or make a partial payment. You can also apply prepayments and vendor credit memos in this window. First select either Vendor ID or Customer ID from the drop-down field of the same name and then select the ID of the vendor or customer to whom you are issuing the check from the adjacent drop-down. To enter a payment to a vendor not in your vendor list, leave this field blank and instead type the vendor's name into the Pay to the Order of field. You only choose a Customer ID to issue a customer refund check. Next, enter the check or reference number used to pay the vendor or vendor bill into the field of the same name if the check has been issued. Otherwise, leave it blank if you will print the checks in Sage 50, as check numbers are assigned when printed. Also notice the Recur button in the toolbar at the top of this window. You can click this button to create a payment and then have it recur in this and future time periods by selecting the frequency with which to automatically have this payment recur in the Create Recurring Payments dialog box. After setting the payment frequency, click the OK button to create the future payments. This can be a handy time saver for bills you have to pay on a set schedule for the same amount to the same vendor. Enter the date the payment check was created into the date field. The total cash balance for the account appears in the Cash Account Balance field. If it says Uncalculated in the Cash Account Balance field, click the Recalculate button, which looks like the dollar symbol, to the right to display the correct total balance. You can also enter the General Ledger account from which the check will be written by using the Cash Account drop-down. To enter payments to vendors that are not associated with any outstanding invoices or purchases, select the Apply to Expenses tab. Here you enter payments that do not involve bills and cash purchases. When a vendor without any invoices is selected, this tab automatically appears. You can check the Prepayment checkbox to create a prepayment, which can then later be applied to one or more invoices from the selected vendor on the Apply to Invoices tab. You can also enter the number of items being purchased into the Items field. This should bring up the description and GL account if the item is in the inventory items list. If not, you can manually enter or change both values. You may need to do the same with the unit price field if it is incorrect too. If purchasing an item not created in the inventory items list, enter its total price into the amount field. After entering the items and quantities, you can enter the serial numbers for serialized stock items in the line items area. To do this, select the first serialized stock item in the line items area and then click the Serial Number button in the toolbar at the top of the window to open the Serial Number Entry dialog box. Enter the first serial number into the Enter a Serial Number to Add field. If the serial numbers you need to add are consecutively numbered, check the Add Blank Consecutive Serial Numbers checkbox and then enter the number of consecutive serial numbers into the adjacent field. After entering a serial number, Click the Add button to add it into the list of serial numbers. Then repeat this process until you enter all the serial numbers for the items. The total count of serial numbers to add for the selected item appears at the bottom of the window. When finished, click the OK button to return to the Payments window, or click the OK slash Next button to move to the next serialized stock item for which you need to enter serial numbers. This lets you not need to close and reopen this dialog box for each item. To make payments against Open Vendor Invoices, select the Apply to Invoices tab. This tab automatically appears when you select vendors with whom you have one or more outstanding invoices. On this tab, the invoice, the date due, and the amount all appear. You can enter a description for each invoice into the description field if desired. If you qualify for a discount, that amount appears here too. You cannot take a discount on a partial payment, however. You can also enter the amount paid to the invoice in this field or check the checkbox for pay 
to pay the selected invoices in full. When all invoices included on a check are selected, click the Print button on the toolbar at the top of this window to print the disbursement check, or click the Save button to print the check later. Note that if you selected a customer ID instead of a vendor ID in this window, the Apply to Customer Account tab appears at the bottom of the window instead. You can use this tab to record customer refunds. Click the Save button after finishing recording the payment within the Payments window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.